Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. So today we're at my Bridgeport milling machine, and this is my Kurt mill vise. I have a plate in here that I'm making a fixture for a future job. And one of the things you got to do is machine the face here for cleanup. Because all my dimensions are going to be off of this face. I want this to be smooth and as perpendicular to this edge and parallel to the opposite edge as possible. So I'm going to quick do a little pass here. It's time to make the chips. And you notice with this end mill, aluminum chips are flying all over the place on top of the material and a lot into the backstop and into this tray here. So on the side, I just use a cafeteria tray here. And I went to my local restaurant supply shop and they carry quite a few different sizes and colors. And this is one of the bigger ones they have. And it nestles really nice and close to the vise. The idea is that chips will fall into this tray and not into the grooves of the table which makes it harder to clean up. So I can just take this with my shop back and, and vacuum up all the aluminum chips and send them out for recycling. The problem is a lot of chips go flying into the vise here. So you can see here, I have a side cover on here. It's something I 3D printed and I made them in various sizes, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12 inches in width. Now that depends on the size of your vise. You might have a smaller vise or a wider vise or a longer vise or whatnot. So I 3D printed here what I'm calling my Kurt Vice side cover. This is the Kurt Vice, and this is a side, and it covers the flange down there. Underneath there is a half inch 13 cap screw. The hole fits there perfectly, and it snaps on. And you can see it's, it's snug. It's not gonna fall off, or it's not gonna get bumped easily, but it can be easily removed and cleaned. So I've been doing a few jobs here, and you can see a lot of the chips are collected here. And let's take it off and look underneath. And you can see it's pretty clean in there. Yeah, there's a little bit, some chips that might have been left over before I cleaned it. But you can see there's hardly any chips in here. Now let's take the same cut without the side cover on and watch, and let's see if any chips get in there. So I moved the cutter five thousandths in that direction. You can see a few chips went in there, but imagine doing this multiple times on different projects. This whole area comes impacted with chips and it's harder to clean out. You can see on this, this was here for a few jobs. Now the chips just kind of wipe off real nice. Even if you take a rag, they clean up pretty nice there. And you can spend as much time as you want cleaning this so if you're worried about oil and coolant penetrating the side cover, you can purchase the thinnest CA glue and just put a thin coat on there. When it dries, it'll be very hard. I haven't done that yet because I'm still in the testing stage. So that clips on there, you press it down and that's it. You want to clean, you lift it up. Now I look on the internet and I've never seen anybody address this problem before. Anybody who runs a milling machine knows that cleaning your vise is kind of a pain. So I've been using the vise here for a couple of projects. Let's go on the other side. It doesn't have the side cover and see what that looks like. And you can definitely see a lot of chips in here. Not as bad as usually. You run a couple of jobs and it's really hard to get all the chips out. I use a vacuum cleaner. Traditionally, people will come in with an air nozzle and just blow the chips out. I feel you're not really cleaning with an air nozzle you're just moving the chips into a least convenient place to get them out of. The Kurt vise sticks out here a little bit for the boss, for the bolts. Some vices are straight across there. 
So when you take a cafeteria tray and you slide it all the way up, you can see there's a groove in there and chips get down there. And the side cover is designed so any coolant or chips will run off into your cafeteria tray. Now this should make cleaning a whole lot easier. I'll have links down below or on the side or on the top or over here to Thingiverse so you can print your own off. There's multiple sizes and it all depends on the size of your vise. How wide do you want to go? So not all manufacturers of the half inch cap screws are going to be the same. So if you print this off and it's just a little tight or a little loose, go and change your percentage of the scale on your slicing software. You may have to play around with that, but just change the scale like 1%, larger or smaller, and it should snap on and off real nice like this. Easy on, easy off, easy on. So this is MKE Gadgets. Thanks for viewing today's video. I hope you really found this interesting. I know all of you might not have a milling machine with a vise like this. This is problem solving 101. What's your problem? Chips are getting to the vise and make it harder to clean. Here's my solution, a side cover. Please like the button down below. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Please support my channel by subscribing. I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.